December 28, 2023, the Tamil film industry came to a standstill as we lost one of the greatest, Captain Vijayakant. Born as Narayanan Vijayaraj Alagarsami on August 25, 1952, but better known to us as Captain Vijayakant, started his acting career back in 1979 with Inikki Mirame. Not many know this, but Captain has actually acted as an antagonist in a few of his films at the start of his career, with Om Shakti being the last film we've seen him with negative shades. The film that really took off his career was Satamaru Irtare in 1981 by S.A. Chandrasegar. The film revolved around Vijay, our captain, and his sister Sheila, played by Vasumadi, who were on different paths of avenging their father's death. Where Sheila is a police officer seeking revenge using the justice system, Vijay takes on a more vigilante approach. Now the movie was a super hit during its release and really took Vijay Khan to new heights. He has played an angry revolutionist in various films during the start of his career, but he has also acted in movies of various genres, including romance, comedy, and of course, action. During his peak, he was easily giving competition other top stars like Rajani and Kamal. He has actually acted with Kamal, but only in one movie called Manakanaku, where Kamal had a guest appearance role, and they actually appeared on the screen together. Vijayakanth and Rajani never really appeared on the screen together, but appeared in a song in a film called Manadil Urudivendrum. However, they are really good friends off screen, to a point where Rajani has halted the shooting of his current film, Vetian, to pay his respect to Vijayakanth. Vijayakanth has also acted alongside with many other stars, including Sivaji Ganesan, Ramki, Prabhu, Prabhudeva, and has helped young actors like Vijay and Surya during the start of their careers. He has done as little as three films a year or as large as 15 films a year and worked together with various directors and producers. He's one of the few actors who was willing to get paid after the release of films to help small producers make their films. He's very well known for his double roles, his roles of a village good doer, and of course his roles as police officer. His 100th film, Captain Prabhakar, and where he played an IFS officer, is what earned him the title Captain. The film also starred Sarth Kumar in a cameo role and Mansoor Ali Khan as antagonist, whose character is actually loosely based on Virapan. Vijay Khan's last movie as an actor was Vidagari, where he was also the director, and he made a cameo appearance in his son's movie, Sagaptam. Aside from films, Captain is also the leader of the DMDK party. This is a regional party which was announced back in 2005 and they contested in the 2006 and had won two MLA postings both in 2006 and 2011. Aside from movies and politics, Captain's also found Sri Andal Alagar College of Engineering in 2001, and he was the former president of the South Indian Film Artists Association. During his presidency, the film association actually cleared its depths, and he also started two channels, one called Captain TV and another one called Captain News. His kindness is well known amongst Hollywood, where he was willing to work with producers, upcoming stars, and feed the cast and crew during their filming. As we know, he wasn't doing very well in terms of health, and today, on December 28, 2003, we lost a great soul. It's a soul that many didn't know how good it was unless you met them. May he rest in peace.